Welcome. In this video, we'll show off what you can do if you pair up FL Studio with an FL Key controller from Novation. If you have an FL Key Mini or FL Key 37, connect them to an internet connected computer using FL Studio and it will automatically download the latest Python scripts for the device you have attached and assign MIDI ports to them. I've prepared a little project to show this off, with some sounds already loaded up. If you want to unlock the true power of the FL key controllers in FL Studio, you should consider trying the same. First, you'll probably want to know how you can operate the step sequencer from your FL key, because you can. By default, your FL key device will be in channel rack mode for the pads. That means the bottom eight pads will trigger C5 on eight different channels. To start step sequencing, Go to Sequencer mode by double tapping Shift, then pressing the pad labeled Sequencer. This will give you control of the first 16 steps of the selected channel. Every pad now represents a step. On the top 8 pads, there are steps 1 to 8, and on the bottom, there are steps 9 to 16. You can scroll to the next or previous 16 steps using the page buttons on the left. Let's sequence a little kick pattern. I'll do that for snare and hi-hat too. Now let's do some hi-hat rolls with this second hi-hat channel. For that, I'll quickly go into channel rack mode again and play it with its pad. Now, I'm certainly no virtuoso at finger drumming. But luckily with FL key I don't have to be. I'll simply press shift and then the note repeat button here, so it blinks, and now the pads will tightly play repeating notes in sync with FL Studio. In this mode, the lowest keys in the keybed will allow me to change the note repeat speed. Of course, you can record this too. Simply hit record on the FL key. Sweet. Now that we have drums in the bag, let's turn our attention to bass and keys. I'll select the keys in the channel rack and switch the potentiometers to control the plugin. Double tap shift and press the pad titled plugin in the top row here. In this mode, the eight potentiometers on the FL key will control eight parameters in the plugin you've focused. In flex, for example, that means the eight macro sliders. Use the preset buttons to switch between different presets on the go. Once you have the sound you want, you can hit record right away. But maybe you would like some cheat codes for that too. If you would like to lock your FL key to a scale, that means it won't play any out of key nodes at all. Simply press shift and tap the scale button here. In this mode, you can select a root note using the keybed and select scales on the pads. When you're done selecting a scale and root note, press shift and scale again so the keys become playable. Cheat codes activated. Now, let's actually hit record. And there you go, now I have a perfectly serviceable loop I can expand on and I've barely even touched my mouse and keyboard at all to do it. 
This is just the tip of the iceberg of what you can do with a properly integrated MIDI controller like the FL Key in FL Studio. As always, we'll link to related sections in the manual and make the demo project available to download for FL Studio customers in the video information. Happy music making!